Hi, Fruit Faces. It is Claire Berry. I want to talk with you guys today about sleep. I know that everybody, lots of people talk about, oh, sleep is so important, so important for weight loss, and yet it's just something that sometimes tends to go in one ear and out the other. I know for me, when I was making my dietary lifestyle changes and, well, just my lifestyle changes in general going on Raw Till 4, I started out just making the changes that were dietary first. I thought that they were so much more important and really sleep was something that took me a long time before I started to really make a consistent effort at really getting a lot of sleep. And now, three and a half years later, I'm a different person. <laughs> I'm actually the type of person who just genuinely thought for a long time throughout my teen years, 20s, probably into my 30s. I think by the time I got to my 30s, I was like a little bit kind of aware of the fact that I needed more sleep, but definitely well throughout, especially my early 20s, I was like, oh yeah, I'm fine with doing six hours of sleep. Like I'm just one of those people that can get by on six hours of sleep. And you know, I mean, I did okay, I guess, but I probably would have been a lot better if I would have gotten more sleep. But I wanna talk about this with what I've learned in specifics to weight loss because now if you look at my sleep profile and I do track it on my VivoFit, on average, I'm getting from seven to 12 hours of sleep. So it's definitely things have changed for me. And a lot of times it's, you know, eight, nine, 10. That's very average for me. So I've noticed, especially just lately, uh, what's been happening is I've been waking up really early to take Josh to his school so he can go to practice. And then sometimes I'll stay up from there and start my day. And we wake up in the five o'clock hour or sometime, like 5.30 or so. And sometimes I'll stay up for the day. A lot of times though, I've been just saying, okay, well, you know, if I have school later or whatever, I will just go back to sleep for another couple of hours. And I always weigh myself every day just to see, just to track and see, you know, what's working for me and what's not. And so I get up and weigh myself. And then if I go back to sleep, I'll weigh myself again after I wake up. And I've noticed, and again, I'm not getting to sleep till after six. So about maybe six, 10, I might sleep till 7.30. Only an hour, a little over an hour of extra sleep. And you know what happens? Consistently, I am losing one or two pounds off the scale during that one hour of sleep. So you're usually talking, you know, from me going from six or even seven hours up to, you know, seven or eight or nine hours, just depending on the day. So I was absolutely floored because I've weighed myself throughout the day. Um, like I've weighed myself on fasts, I've weighed myself a lot. And even throughout the day, if you're not consuming even many liquids, you won't lose weight that fast. I know for a fact now that sleep is no joke. And I wanted to share this with you guys, because again, I think it's something that is highly overlooked, highly undervalued, underrated. And I really just want to get the word out there for everybody to really stay healthy because Especially in the past, you know, 20 years or whatever, I don't know how long, the media really tends to portray being busy as such a virtue and got to make money, got to go, 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 and who needs sleep, sleep when you're dead, yada, yada, yada. But, and almost on some level, it gets you to be brainwashed and start thinking, wow, sleep does nothing for me. You know, sleep is a waste. You know, I can get so much done. But in reality, of course, you've probably heard, well, you're more productive, you know, if you do get the right amount of sleep. But yeah, your waking hours are just so much better. It is true. It, it, I mean, I just had no idea. And I don't know scientifically if you happen to know why, like how this actually, I mean, I'm assuming it's hormonal. Like when you get enough sleep, your body is able to do what it's supposed to do a little bit better. Um, or you're just healing and repairing and... Maybe that's, I, I really honestly don't know. All I know is that it's true. 
been listening to, you know, Durian Ryder say that for years and years and years. And it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, Durian Ryder. And he doesn't even always heed his own advice, but especially as an athlete, it's really important too. So anyway, I will leave you guys with that. I hope you enjoy this. Thumbs up if you did. Uh, don't forget to check out my playlist. Don't forget to stay sub. Don't forget to eat your fruit. And I'll talk to you guys soon.